hello how to solve for s in this equation s square minus s to the power of 3 is equal to 252 solution then we have s square minus s to the power of 3 is equal to 252 and this is s square minus s to the power of 3 then minus 2 52 is equal to 0 252 is equal to 216 plus 36 then here we have s square minus s to the power of 3 minus 216 minus 36 is equal to 0 Let's group we have s square minus s to the power of 3 minus 2 one six is 6 to the power of 3 minus 36 is c square is equal to 0. Now here we have s square. Let's compare this with this and this with this minus 6 square and minus we have s to the power of 3 minus 6 to the power of 3 is equal to 0 and we have s square minus c square minus we have s to the power of 3 plus 6 to the power of 3 is equal to 0 now from here this is in the form of perfect square that is if you have a square minus b square this is equal to a plus b bracket a minus b and from here if you have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 this is equal to a plus b bracket a square minus a b plus b square so this can be written as s plus six bracket s minus six minus here is s plus six bracket bracket a square minus 6 multiplied by s plus c square is equal to 0 then here s plus 6 is common we have s plus 6 bracket bracket if you divide this by this we have s minus 6 then minus bracket if you divide this by this we have s square minus 6 s plus c square that is 36 is equal to 0 then here we have s plus 6 bracket bracket here is s minus 6 that minus times s square that is minus s square minus times minus is s this is plus 6 x minus times plus 36 this is minus 36 is equal to 0 we have s plus 6 bracket here is minus s square s plus 6 s that is plus 7 x minus 6 minus 36 that is minus 42 is equal to 0 there are two cases here the first case is 
x plus 6 is equal to 0 and the second case is minus x square plus 7s minus 42 equal to 0. Then from the first case here, s is equal to minus 6. Let's call this s1. And from the second case here, let's divide all through by minus 1. If you divide minus s square by minus 1, we have s square, then plus 7x divided by minus 1. This is minus 7x minus 42 divided by minus 1. This is plus 42. It's equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula. From quadratic general formula, we have x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a or s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of d which is discriminant over 2a. Then let's consider the d. d is equal to b square minus 4ac. Then from this equation, a is equal to 1, b equal to minus 7, c equal to 42. So let's substitute here d is equal to minus 7 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 42. d is equal to minus 7 square that is 49 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 42 that is 168. Then d is equal to 49 minus 168 that is minus 119 then we can now plug in this into this equation we have s is equal to minus bracket minus 7 plus or minus square root of minus 119 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 now s is equal to 7 plus or minus square root of minus 119 can be written as 119 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 2. Now s is equal to 7 plus or minus square root of 119i divided by 2. Then S2 is equal to 7 plus square root of 119i over 2 and S3 is equal to 7 minus square root of 119i over 2. Therefore, our final answers are S1 is equal to minus 6, then S2 is equal to 7 plus square root of 119 over 2, and then S3 equal to 7 minus square root of 119i over 2. Now you can see that here, this is the real solution and this is complex root. This is also a complex root. So we have two complex root and then only one re root so we can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong in order to check we are going to make use of this only one re root to check our solution to check we have the given equation s square minus s to the power of three is equal to 252 when x 
is equal to minus 6. Here we have minus 6 square minus bracket minus 6 to the power of 3 must be equal to 252. Then minus 6 squared, this is 36 minus bracket minus 6 to the power of 3, this is minus 216, must be equal to 252. Then here we have 36 minus times minus, this is plus 216, must be equal to 252. Now 36 plus 216, this is 252 is equal to 252, which is true. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.